Hi, I'm Keith McCullough, and welcome to another Real Conversation. Going to have an interesting one, suffice to say, with Cormac Kinney, who's the founder and CEO of Diamond Standard. Welcome, Cormac. The, the topic, obviously, uh, that we're going to get into here is diamonds, but we definitely want to get into diamonds as a digital uh, commodity or currency. Diamonds are a $1.2 trillion asset. That's as much as all the silver, platinum, and palladium combined. Yeah. An investor could never touch a diamond because there's no standardization. Mm -hmm. uh, every diamond's different. So there's no price discovery process that's repeated and consistent. When two people trade a diamond, their deal is secret. So there's no transparency. There's no exchange. There's no centralized limit order book. All these things that we were used to. And as a result, there's simply no liquidity for diamonds. There's immense friction whenever you want to trade them. And for a institutional investor like a BlackRock, there's no way to mark to market. So they simply can't hold it. But you'll be surprised uh, because we actually are launching the spot commodity, futures on the CME, options on MyAx, and an ETF on the New York Stock Exchange, all within about 14 months. Which is super exciting, and that gets you know that that starts to potentially solve for these liquidity friction, et cetera, problems that you got into. When you said that, like 1.2 trillion is a diamond market, um, that in context, like gold's around nine trillion, and and as you said, silver is less than a trillion. Uh, and if we're right on silver, maybe silver will be more than a trillion. But is is part of the problem um, the unit pricing? Yeah, well, an ounce of diamonds in aggregate is about three hundred thousand dollars compared to gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At its all-time high is, is 2,000 or yeah. so. No, the, the real challenge is there, there's no fungibility. And that's what we solved. That was the, that's the foundation of everything we've done, is we've created a fungible diamond commodity where they're all the same, whether they're made today or in 25 years. And so when they're traded, all of that liquidity is concentrated into one spot-traded uh, commodity that's the underlying asset for everything else, for mm -hmm. futures, options, and ETFs. So the key was transparency, standardization, leading to price discovery. And that price discovery is what enables us to create a, all the markets on top of it. Yeah, can you go through that? Like, you know, currently, what is the lack of price discovery? So what is not price discovery in the diamond market as you see it? Well, the diamond market is all based on this Rappaport list. And the Rappaport is a survey where they survey wholesale dealers and ask them, tell us, please, what are things trading at? And I don't want to say they're all liars, but <laughs> the prices are never, you could never trade at these prices. Uh, it's And a estimate can never be the foundation for a mark to market. You have to have a... Uh, market maker which uh, provides a actionable bid or you need to have a, a visible cross between two counterparties in order to have a, a legitimate mark to market at least in the eyes of people like the sec that we care about and the cftc so we had to first start by making a product that was fungible right. and then that fungible product the market tells us the price. We never, like it's the same as a gold mine. When Barrick Gold makes a kilo bar, they don't say this kilo bar is so beautiful. I love it, it's my favorite. I want $3,500 an ounce for mm -hmm. my kilo bar. No, the price is on the CME or the LBMA. And that market fix decides the price for that commodity on that day. And we've created the ecosystem and the structure of uh, a centralized limit order book, for example, mm -hmm. with a depth of market and the ability to force price discovery because we're the world's first market maker. We enforce the discovery of about 16 million prices a day. And that becomes uh, the foundation for a market created commodity. To have a market that's based on a survey? I mean, that is, uh, I could see if it was something smaller, but this is a massive market when you, t when you talk about a multi trillion dollar yeah. market. But the key is that we're the market maker. Yeah. And we bid every day on 16 million varieties of diamonds. Mm -hmm. And we force the market to tell us 
by buying a sample of those diamonds, we find out what's the value. So we have absolutely no surveys, no estimates, <laughs> no subjectivity whatsoever. The survey it's all pure is, math. The survey, survey against math, like it's the year 2021, for God's sakes. I mean, it, it, that's, yeah. it's still, it still sounds so prehistoric in terms of how it is. Can you define, you, you said loose diamonds. What, what does that mean? For, I should show you the commodity because that will help put a lot of things into context. Yep. So as I mentioned, we make the world's first fungible diamond commodity. And this is what it looks like. These are diamond standard coins. Each coin, as you can see, contains diamonds. There's diamonds, you know, each one has about a dozen diamonds in it. Yep. And these two coins, even though the diamonds are different, slightly different, they always add up to the same geological content. Mm -hmm. And if you remember buying a diamond, diamonds as they get larger, you know, more, you know, bigger, higher carat weight, as they get more flawless, as they become more colorless, like D color, diamonds value goes up exponentially. And that's part of the challenge is that diamonds are nonlinear. Mm -hmm. As they get bigger, they don't, they double, triple, quadruple in price for every additional carat. As they become flawless, they become dramatically more valuable. Every coin that we make adjusts for all of those characteristics and we can prove that they're always the same whether we make these both in the same day or we make them 25 years apart these two coins are the same as a market maker on a daily basis we bid on all 16 million types our bids are limit orders we've invented a new type of automated market making system where all of those characteristics are in a matrix what we buy is a public and statistically valid sample of all 16 million. Hmm. And we have to buy a little bit of everything, every color, every carat weight, every clarity, every possible combination, and we make that public. Hmm. And our bids are public. So the market sees our bids, the market being the uh, diamond vendors of the world. But what we buy is a statistical sample that we make public and we can prove that today's sample and the sample 25 years from now, we can prove that they're the same. And so the market knows the commodities are the same. So to put this into my language, because um, that's uh, diamond language, like to me, that's like a factor-based model. So you said it's uh, carat weight, color, and clarity. We had to be very careful in designing this structure that we never put our finger on the scale. We never set the price ourselves of the contents or hmm. of the commodity. Okay. We don't price fix in, in market terms. At the IPO, we didn't set the contents of every coin. The coin is being sold, and it's under regulatory approval, by the way. The coin is being sold for $5,000 per coin. We take those proceeds and we buy $5,000 worth of diamonds okay. using this statistical sampling process. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's a large, much larger scale. We're buying about 60,000 diamonds over three days. <laughs> that sample we make public, and it has to be the entire, all those yield curves. And they are yield curves because it's not the yield curve the way a treasury is, but it's the yield curve of the earth. So we're discovering from the market through our bidding where we must buy a little bit of everything, we're discovering what are those yield curves. Mm. The market tells us, we don't decide the factor weightings. Once we discover that yield curve as of the IPO, that's public and permanent, and that is the diamond standard. Right. So we never tell the market what diamonds are worth. The market always tells us. Love that. Similarly, we don't tell the market what the coin is worth. The coin is being traded on digital exchanges, and in about five or six months, it'll also be traded on the CME Globex. That pr market price discovery tells us the price of the, of the commodity. Our job is very simple, is to make these the exact same forever. That's it. So you got, I love this. This is, this is fantastic. Transparency wins in the end. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. He's Cormac Kinney. That was cool. That was really cool. Thanks for joining us.